Welcome back everyone to more career mode gameplay of Tony Stewart's Sprint Car Racing. Up next is a showcase event at Stone Ridge. You can see there on the screen, $12,000 is the purse. We want to get the best finish we possibly can. Our car performance is looking in great shape, but as always, we're gonna move over to the garage screen and make full repairs. We don't just want these components in the green, we want them maxed out. So after spending just a little bit of money, we're back up to plus 66 on performance and a total of $33,443 in our bank account. And of course, we are very grateful for all 248 of our fans. So Stone Ridge is a very wild and hectic place to race. It makes for a ton of fun when you're three and sometimes four wide. So let's get right to it. Practice and qualifying in the books, and you can see we were able to beat that goal time of 9.59, which is what we were going for. Just want to trigger that sponsor bonus in practice, which is between 50 and 60 bucks normally. So we did that, so only ran the one lap of practice. You can see qualifying was quite a bit better, and that's because in qualifying I can run whatever line I want, so we can usually get some better uh, qualifying times there than what we get in practice. Now the big thing here, uh, our qualifying time was good enough to get us starting third in heat race number one, which I believe we were either 11th or 13th in qualifying, so not bad at all. But the big thing here is the sponsors. You can see on the right hand side of your screen, if we make it to the B main, we unlock two new sponsors. And of course, then in the finale, race number 14 of the season, we can unlock uh, our current sponsor, Jake's Golf Carts, with by making it to the A main. So those are what's on the line ultimately in this race. But of course, because this is a sponsor event, we want to have the absolute best finish we can get so we can get the biggest portion of that race purse. Now you notice here, only the top three cars advance to the A main. Uh, below that, because it's a showcase event, you'll be looking at another one of the mains, either B or even lower, to try to work your way into eventually the A main. So once again, I'm gonna to try to hug this bottom. There is a car right behind me, or at least there was, that was pressuring me pretty hard. All right, so the laps click off very quickly here at this track. All right, we're sitting here in third. I'm not really gaining anything on second position, but at the same time, I really don't see anybody gaining on us either. So things have gotten quite spread out. Final lap of the race, and we would be just fine coming home in the third position. In fact, not only did we come home in third, we actually got an opportunity to lap maybe a car or two in that race, and we'll take that anytime we can get it. So as you can see on the screen, we will advance to the A main and start 11. Agreed, it definitely should be a good one. We're gonna try to get to this bottom. This is where we're starting, but we need to get there and stay there. Make up as many positions as we can. So here we go, right off the bat, get to that bottom. Oh, we've already gotten tagged trying to move us off that bottom. Again, don't blame them. That's exactly what they should be trying to do. It's what we're trying to do. All right, so they got us off the bottom. And now let's see how many cars get under us. Oh, look out, contact right there. Okay, so not the start I was hoping for. We're falling back to ninth. Yeah, there's just cars everywhere right now. Cars everywhere, contact everywhere. There you can see Tony Stewart passing us. Amazing. That was a great lap. All right, so let's see if things start to calm down and let's see what kind of race pace we've got. A total of 20 laps at this event, being a showcase event, a few more than what we're accustomed to, around 15 or so. Of course, keep in mind, we're running half distance on these. 50% main event distance is wow. Stewart come blowing by us right there, ouch. We're up to six positions, so this is the kind of finish we need. We just need to hang in there and keep this up. 
but there is contact everywhere on this track right now. And here comes smoke right back by us. It's always got to feel good to be running around Tony Stewart on the track in his own game. Ouch, more contact there from guess who? All right, sitting here in seventh position, and you see a lot of action, a lot of two and three wide in front of us. And of course, as always, we're trying to use this to our own benefit. Okay, I was gonna say, I thought, I thought that was a car coming by us on the bottom side, and sure enough, it was. All right, so currently sitting in eighth position. Ouch, another love tap. I'm pretty sure that was from Tony Stewart. Oh, got a car underneath us. Gave us a little love tap to let us know he was there. And that was the leader. must be second place. Nope, actually it wasn't. At least I don't think it was. As they were blowing by us. Alright, two more laps. Or at least that's what he said. That us being a lap down, I'm not sure we're going to get as many laps here. Ooh, I saw a car below us. And okay, there you have it. So sixth position and that was pretty wild cars everywhere on this track i can only imagine what this kind of a track would be like in real life uh probably a lot like bristol quite frankly with cars absolutely everywhere and traffic jams for as far as the eye can see so sixth position look at that everybody was a lap down uh we ended up beating tony stewart who finished in ninth only three cars on the lead lap that is unreal three cars on the lead lap i mean this is a very short track and of course it is extremely fast uh, even in the midget cars so wow three cars is still not much at all so how many cars were one lap down 10 so the top 10 one lap down and then after that you get into two laps or more so let's go ahead and move our way through we should get a very nice percentage of that race purse with a nice solid top 10 finish in fact almost a top five finish so that's going to improve our season standing we're now sitting in 14th i like it quite a bit we have a lot of positive momentum right now so our sixth place finish is going to give us 7200 dollars plus our sponsor and merch payout which is creeping up there it's now up to 14 dollars for this showcase event giving us a total Weekend winnings of $8,124. So now with that in mind, let's move forward to the race summary. This is exactly the type of race summary I love to see. A sixth place finish, so a great finish for us, and smooth driving. So we lose absolutely no performance whatsoever from the car. A little bit of durability from each of the components, but overall, an absolutely amazing event. And of course, with this being a showcase event, we got even more money than we normally would. The sponsor goal, we crushed it. Not only did we get the two top 20s within five races, uh, we got four top 20s out of the five races. The $8,182 we bring home for the weekend brings our bank account up to $41,625. So we have cracked that 40,000 mark in our bank account. And again, we're saving up for a new engine. We pick up 20 more fans for a total of 268 overall, that is awesome. That is exactly what we want to see. Just continue gaining fans. That's going to get us more merchandise sales and ultimately more money overall. That's going to do it for today. Thank you very much for joining me in what was definitely a very exciting and worthwhile race. And stay tuned for more as we will continue our career mode gameplay of Tony Stewart Sprint Car Racing.